Hey, good morning, Team 19. Uh, Mr. Shepko checking in day 11. Just wanted to show you guys a few things here. Um, open some windows. Please forgive the background music. All the kids are here and up, living their best life. You can see how you access the course. Scroll down here. Today is day 11. As you can see, Thursday, day 11, April 2nd. And here's what we've got lined up for you today. We've got a reading assignment, a fictional book, Tic-Tac-Toe Grid. You guys are very familiar with that. Your writing essay, your persuasive writing essay about a paragraph of a vacation of your choice, hopefully. Um, we're all going on vacation again sometime soon. So um, try to think of three big ideas with that. Your first big idea and then five or six supporting sentences. Make sure you elaborate. Um, your next big idea, you know, four, five, six supporting sentences on the second uh, big idea. And then your third big idea and elaborate on those. So if you're going to Ocean City, New Jersey, um, you want to say that there's lots of time for R&R &R there. You can go to the beach. You could take a nap. Um, you could sleep in, pull the plug on those alarm clocks, a whole paragraph about resting and relaxation. You could do another paragraph about a night at the boardwalk um, with rides and food and games and mini golf, lots of entertainment. Um, so um, those are two examples of, of how you would come up with a big idea for each paragraph and then support it. Um, so that covers reading and writing. The math days eight, eight, eight to 10. I want you to think of this activity here as IE. Uh, not the primary math activity today. You may finish some of this, um, but you can complete this tic-tac-toe grid. Um, and the activities are pretty self-explanatory there. If I click on this grid, I pull it up. Pick any three boxes, obviously three in a row or tic-tac-toe. Um, more importantly, you pick activities that are interesting and meaningful for you. All right. So that's one thing. I'm going to close this, close that, come back to my Thursday, day 10. Science, this is the design of shoe challenge, uh, innovation, design, environmentally friendly shoe. Uh, which is pretty cool. You can send me pictures or videos of that. You could do a flip grid about that. Reading assignment 20 is a kid in a candy store. So pretty self-explanatory. You click on that, you complete that, you can submit that. Math and focus, angles on a line. So here's your link. This link is always active. So I should never hear, I don't know how to log into Think Central because there's links in many of these lessons from day one through day 12. Everything's here, username, password. If you're logged into Microsoft Office, if you're logged into Schoology, you should get into Think Central, no problem. You don't wanna just go to the Think Central website. You wanna enter the Think Central website through Schoology. So go to Schoology and then log in through the links because the two platforms work well together. I cannot, me, myself, I cannot go to the Think Central website and log in. I can't do it. It's not possible. You have to be logged in through Schoology. I can't say it enough. Um, so follow the link. And you can pick your resources. Your, your screen looks a little different than mine, mind you. Obviously, as a teacher versus a student. Um, grade five and student workbook. Obviously we're, you have access to all of these now. So you can always go back and pick a different chapter. If you're frustrated with new material, you're gonna be on chapter 12 and there you go. There's your activity for the day. Over here, you could download it. You could, you could download it you could work on it. 
Uh, you could print it if you wanted to print it. You could take a picture of what you did if you wanted to submit it that way. Um, but as long as you're doing the work, it's kind of the honor system right now. Um, there will be some things that we'll, we'll take a closer look at. But there's your lesson for 12-1. Um, you may also be able to, if you leave the student workbook, you may also be able to look in resources for a protractor. If you see this, click on this link. There's your protractor. You could print that out and you can use that to help you solve the problems. Okay, so protractors and resources are available. Close that. We don't need, we no longer need that. We no longer need this. And back to Schoology. So you can watch a video about measuring angles right here. Um, you're going to do these pages from your workbook, which you have in front of you, but I also showed you the digital version. And then if you if you feel frustrated, here's another video from Khan Academy. All right, back to my day. So that about covers it. Those are your activities for the day. Hope you have a great day and I'll be checking in on you guys soon. Uh, if you can get outside and say hi, Mia. Mia, lo Mia lost the tooth. Tooth fairy came, got a dollar there. All right, I'll catch up with you guys later. Have a great day. Get your thinking caps on.